Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, description has everything. I do all the hacker and glee code solutions. If you check those on my channel, I have playlists. Um, I'm doing bottom up approach here, doing data structures and then algorithms. I want to get full understanding of data structures. We just did print a length list last time. This one's a little trickier. Insert a node at the tail of a length list, right? So, um, you're given a pointer to the head node of a linked list and an integer to add to the list. Create a new node that has the integer. So the data is gonna be the integer of the new node. Um, insert a node at the tail of the linked list and return the head node of the list formed after inserting the new node. The head may be null, meaning that the list is empty. Um, pretty easy, I've done any, I'm sure anyone who's taken data structures has done this problem. It's one of the first ones to do. Um, you're given a singly linked list node, uh, inserted tail, head and data, two arguments, head of the list. So what we're going to do is we're just going to loop through the whole list. Um, if you don't know what the list, a link list is, maybe check out the printing list video. I kind of explained it there. Um, you take a linked list, you loop through the whole thing. First, well, first thing we're going to want to do is if head is null, we're just going to set head to the new node. We'll construct our new node and then just return the new node or the head. Um, and otherwise we're just going to loop through the whole list until we get to null and then set it as the last node. I mean, it's not really a tough problem. Um, you know, it takes two arguments out of a linked list and a tail. Blah, 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 blah. All right. They already read in everything. We just get ahead and data. So let's make our new node. So we'll take the constructor up here, say new node is equal to new this with data. Um, so now we have our new node, then we'll do if head is equal to null. So here's the approach, you can either do this, you can do head is equal to new node, return head, which is probably you know better to do, but just for readability and just making sense, but also you could just do this, you could just return new node, cause that's, that is the head. I mean, this, this is shorter, uh, less lines. I actually, since I understand the problem, I'm going to do that, but, um, you know, whatever, we'll do it. We can do it. You can do it either way. So we'll just do it this way, I guess. Head is equal to new node, um, return head, right? Just so you can see that we're going to return the head anyway. Um, so if head is null, do this. And if head is not null, that means we're going to do, I'm going to set a current pointer because you never want to lose track of your head because you might want to use it later, and we're going to use it later actually, in this case, because uh, we have to return the head. So we're going to set a pointer to our head, and then we're going to do while current node.next is not equal to null. So uh, then we're going to loop through the list, right? Current node equals current node.next. So why are we doing dot .next? Well, we're doing dot .next because once we see that the next node is null, that means we've gotten to the last node. So when we break out of this loop, we know that the next node is equal to null. So the next node's null, that means that we're at the last element of our list. So all we have to do now is current node.next is equal to new node. There we go. And now we return head because that's still the initial pointer to the beginning of our list. So all this does is it loops through it to the end of our list, sets the new node to the very last element that inserts it at the end. And then we return head and everything's all good to go. Uh, so this should pass all the test cases. There you go. Uh, I looked at the di discussion for this one. It, there's a lot of crazy people in there saying wrong information. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and that's pretty it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I think the next problem we're going to do is insert it head or something like that. Really easy. Um, just so I could show you one, one more time that uh, this is the same. You could just return new node, right? Because there's no head. So we would be you could return head or you could return new node. So there you go. That's it. So thanks for watching. Check out the next one. We're going to get into some more difficult problems probably in three more challenges. So, All right. See you guys.